So let's get into the integration and support of CMC's toolbox and C solution in the IR Embedded Workbench for ARM. IR Embedded Workbench for ARM version 950 supports CMC's toolbox and CMake. These are standard build systems for C, C++ projects, with CMC's toolbox being the evolution of CMC spec. I have here IR Embedded Workbench for ARM open, as you might have noticed. Let's start by importing a project into the IR Embedded Workbench. This step is, of course, to leverage the full capabilities of your ARM-based application. Remember, any changes to your project, including files in your project and code generation options, are managed through the CMC's toolbox files and not directly within the IDE. There are plenty of examples available at GitHub. You can, for example, go to github.com slash arm examples, for example. And as you can see here, there are various examples from different silicon vendors that you can make use of. To import a CMC's toolbox project, ensure that you have CMake installed. Then, first step is to navigate to project create new project and select here under toolchain CMake for ARM. And then from here, we can choose your import C solution UIML file. Once I confirm here, I will be using here an example for an NXP IMX RT. In this case, it's the 1060. And I have some demo applications. I will use a simple hello world. And if I go into the project here, I can find here the C solution file that I just need to confirm to open. And then of course it will ask for a project file for the IR IDE. Once I confirm here, you will see that the project will be loaded here to the IDE. This might take a few seconds. Integrating the CMC's toolbox with the IR IDE allows you to get, of course, and familiar with this powerful workflow that IR can provide with very useful features like IR SysPy debugger, the IR Sysstat static code analysis, and also the IR CRUN for runtime analysis. This will, of course, all help with developer productivity. And as you can see, the process is being completed here. And once the CMC's toolbox project here is loaded, we will have the structure ready here. So we have the C solution file here. And then we also have the C project file here that has all the components that are required for this project. It's kind of many components, but the idea is to show you how it works in a very efficient way and there are some different configurations here and that's of course very useful uh, if you build this project with various combinations we have some debug release and um, even using external memory here and if i scroll down here we will be using the debug configuration so so we'll see here the compiler flags being set and even the linker files so what i can also show you here is that if I just scroll up here, all the packs that were missing have been, of course, downloaded. And this is an option. If you go to Tools, Options, uh, under CMake, CMC's Toolbox, I definitely recommend that you have this enabled to automatically download missing packs. Of course, that's very handy. And also, if there is any device issues, that it automatically resolves these device uh, issues. Yeah. Uh, the same settings are then also available in the project and if you go to CMake CMC's toolbox you can see which CMC spec it's being used the path to this file and then under CMake where we are using or from where we are invoking CMake then we also have the IR build chain compiler and assembler being selected here and then under CMC's toolbox we have again the same settings one very important information here that you need to know is that now we are importing the project and we will be building it of course with IR but uh, since we support CMake here, there is some flexibility even to invoke some other tools directly from IRD ID. But still, as mentioned, 
taking advantage of uh, the advanced capabilities for code quality, like the CSTAT, the CRUN, and especially the advanced debugger from IRDIR, CSPY. So if I just confirm here and try to build this project, it should all go fine. It just asks for a workspace file. Of course, the ID needs a workspace file and also a project file, and we just created this thing. But as I said, all the settings are inside this uh, UML uh, file. So as you can see, the project builds fine. But to show you uh, the advantages of using IR Embedded Workbench, first we will go here into the options. And if you are familiar with IR or already know how it works, but we can select here a core, a device, or in this case, we have the CMC spec device definitions directly here. So that's already there. When it comes to static analysis, that's very handy. It's available here for IR Embedded Workbench, and we support various checks, the best programming practices, as you can see, uh, where there is some array, uh, arithmetics, uh, casting, and some other uh, rules that are being checked. But then we also have uh, search EC. Uh, we also have some security checks and all uh, the MISRA and we keep adding new MISRA standards, of course, here. So if I just confirm the standard checks, that should be enough to show the capabilities here. I will just confirm it here and then I can run the analysis over my project that I just imported here. This should be straightforward and once we start to get some messages, they will be listed here on the Sysstat messages uh, window. I edit here a file that is of course full with issues to make it easier to show the problems. It has some conversion errors, even some divisions by zero uh, and so on. So as you can see, uh, it shows you the, the problems here. And then of course you can just double click. It takes you directly to the source code. And from here you can then uh, of course fix all the issues. One point that's also very important is that you might want to generate a report so you can just click on full report, save it, and it will generate you this HTML file uh, showing you what kind of issues uh, have been triggered, what are the most common issues, all the checks that are enabled, the most problematic files. And it's, of course, my one of my files here. As you can see, straightforward, very easy to use. If I go back here to the ID, what I also want to show, uh, I've been mentioning the C run part and the way it works. When you use a CMC's toolbox project here, I will mainly go back here to my project that I've been using. So I'm enabling here the runtime checking with some silent overflows, uh, conversion error shift, uh, switch problems, division uh, by zero. Under the linker, I also need to enable semi hosting. And once I build this project with these settings enabled, it will automatically instrument my code from here we will be able to detect these issues while running the application and if I go here to the settings under debugger as you can see it's a long list of JTAG probes that we support I will be using the simulator here because it's very handy and easy to use but you could even use the ARM virtual hardware here uh, with caddy or even GDB server to connect to it depending on how uh, you want to use it from the cloud or locally and we also support the most popular uh, probes here but for me it's enough to use the simulator and in order to trigger that you mainly just need to enable it here even if the settings are already set the uml file it's just to enable the debugger also so for using the debugger straightforward if i just connect here and download the application you will see that we might land under uh, main here. Of course, I have uh, some routines that I should be using. I might just do that really quickly here. If I want to force uh, the bad situations, I can go back here uh, under prototypes. Probably I just should include this function. Let's fix it. As you can see I can just edit the code while I'm debugging. And then I just invoke C run here. As you can see, there is some autocomplete to make things easier here, of course. And once I'm already in main here, of course, I will need to build this application again to use that function so you can see what's happening. But under view, you will have the chance to see, for example, uh, the memory from the device. Uh, if you want to find uh, main is also there, the address uh, or some variables, uh, for example, this char page, we should be able to find it. And um, if um, I go here to the list, there is even more like call stack. Uh, you can also look into registers, 
I mean, everything to help you to really get full control of your um, while you are debugging your application. But just rebuilding it here to make sure that the bad routines are being used and I can trigger the issues that I have been creating here in this file. Uh, if I just leave this application running for a while until C run and step in here, then we should start to get here the issues. I mean, if there is any uh, situation that needs to be triggered, as you can see, the division by zero has been triggered now. So if I just continue here, we'll have the conversion error. So as you can see, they get listed here. Uh, if I start here by the division by zero, I will have the full call stack available here. So you can figure out how did you end up in that situation? I mean, from main, we call C run, end up in division by zero, and then you have the exact uh, problem of being detected here. The same with some conversions. So most of the issues, of course, they only appear during runtime. So as you can see, you import this project, you can improve the code quality you can really use the debugger in very efficient ways everything to improve developer but great